Our next step in making a great event is recording and using groups. As we mentioned before, on the fixtures page, we can see all of our individual fixtures, and on the groups page, we can see groups. By default, the console creates groups for every fixture type that we've patched. We went over patching in the previous video. But creating your own groups has some advantages in the Light Shark as well, including being able to create your fixtures and place them on a 2D layout. Let's give you an example. These alpha washes, if we press find, are located on the sides of our stage. Let's go ahead and put them in their own group. That's a user created group. We'll hold on it to give it a name or we can use the set key both here on the screen and on the LS1 surface. And we can even give them a color code. Press OK. Now press edit and press the group you've just created. For user created groups, this layout tab will appear when pressing edit and pressing a group. This allows us to lay the lights out the way they are in physical real life. So in this case, I just press the first one, press where I'd like it to go and continue on. I can also, if I was moving uh, horizontally, I could take these units, select multiple by clicking and dragging and move them to a new location. Because I'm going from horizontal to vertical here, I have to do it manually. Now, these lights are set up physically in the console in the same 2D perspective as they are in real life. This is going to have some great advantages to us when we get to effects. The other part that's advantageous for effects are the steps across the bottom. We're able to go ahead, select different lights, and set them into steps. The steps are now optionally used in the effects process as a different way to run the effect across our lights. For now, press exit and it will ask you to save your layout. Press yes. We recommend making a group for every type of fixtures and if you want to use the layout for effects later, create groups that you'll use together, such as different fixtures, different trusses, and a group for your whole rig. Then. Selecting groups are as simple as pressing on them to select, pressing on them again to deselect. We can also deselect in the default double clear mode by pressing clear once when we have lights selected. This clears the selection, but as you see, did not clear out my programming. I can clear out my programmer by pressing twice. Now let's move on to our next video and talk about building palettes.